KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. We'll detail the temps from today, and it was pretty much what you'd expect when you have a, a solid marine layer. 60s at the coast, 70s up in the hills, so you either had to get up above the marine layer in elevation or you had to go inland, of course. Uh, low 60s and upper 50s are very short thermometer there uh, in marina. 54 in the morning, just 60 uh, in, the, uh, in the afternoon, and 53 and 59 in PG, so uh, not much of a range uh, day or night. Uh, not much sunshine. 64 Salinas, but we had upper 70s in King City. So again, as you get down into the valleys, it was a lot warmer. And uh, more or less all low 70s, except for Hollister in the Santa Clara Valley. They were at 68. So uh, a nice day overall, I guess, depending on uh, where you're at. We're, we're used to doing, uh, well, June gloom, I guess, came a little early, right? It's May. Mid-60s, Santa Barbara, just 70s in San Diego today. So not much warmer down to the south, also dealing with the low clouds. We had 80s uh, right into the Central Valley and 88 in Palm Springs. Uh, there's the clash of air masses going right now. Uh, cold air of Montana. Uh, snowing there. They actually had 10 inches of snow in Steamboat on Sunday night. So there was a lot of cold air filtering down and warm air coming up from the Gulf with plenty of humidity and uh, boom, you get the big thunderstorms uh, right through the central plains there. You can see them firing up and they're continuing to fire up even this afternoon. Those uh, two air masses still uh, button heads and you can see a lot of rain out ahead of it. Uh, not severe weather though. Uh, 18 tornadoes. You can see how they just right along that frontal boundary right there. Again, uh, northern Texas, but most of the tornadoes were actually across Oklahoma and into Kansas and Nebraska. And again, just an hour ago, it was about 14 of them. Now we're up to 18 and they're still going. It was low clouds up and down the coast from Point Conception all the way north of San Francisco. Getting a little clearing though now on a north wind. So we did break apart some of the low clouds late today. Uh, next low pressure system is out there. You can see that swirl, but in between us and that, is a high pressure ridge and that will come first. So we'll watch the high come overhead. That will bring us some warming temperatures here over the next couple of days. Uh, the high will move in, but it'll really take until about Wednesday, Thursday. That tends to compress the marine layer down so we don't see as much of the low clouds inland and they'll burn off closer to the coast a little quicker. The low will continue to track towards us though. And by Friday, we turn the uh, winds back on shore. Deep marine layer again by Friday into Saturday. So we go back to cooler temperatures. The low will stay north though overall. We won't get any rain out of it, but we'll certainly see the mist and the drizzle probably back by the bay. Light winds over the next 24 hours. We'll see a breeze shifting more westerly tomorrow at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Low clouds though will be coming back tonight. So uh, they'll be at the bay and then they'll work their way inland overnight tomorrow morning. Figure on starting off with mostly cloudy and then back to mostly sunny. I'm thinking a little earlier burn off tomorrow, so we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. But certainly by Wednesday or Thursday, we should see some more sunshine at the coast. Uh, 90 tomorrow in Palm Springs. We got a 70 in San Diego, 60s up there in Tahoe and middle 80s from Sacramento over to Fresno. So warm, but nothing overly hot in the Central Valley tonight. We've got 40s and low 50s going tomorrow. At the coast, 63 to 70. Figure on a clearing to the bay eventually, and then mostly sunny. We'll start you off cloudy for the valleys, but clearing skies quickly, and then back to sunshine right through the afternoon. Mid 60s in San Francisco, middle 70s though in Mountain View. So again, microclimates are working now. 76 in San Jose, 74 in Hollister. Salinas Valley with a pretty good range tomorrow. 68 in Salinas, but 81 in King City. So that's uh, almost like two different wardrobes right there. And 60s at the coast with just 50s for overnight lows. Low clouds will be in again until afternoon, and then we'll break back to some sunshine. 70 for Santa Cruz and some middle 70s now up in Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond is 66 in Watsonville. Your KSBW 8-day forecast showing the trend upward on temperatures. It'll be just a little bit of warming at the coast. We're still going to deal with some low clouds in the morning. More sun, though by Wednesday and Thursday and then back to a deeper marine layer over the coming weekend with highs back down mostly just at the 60 degree level, low to mid 60s at the coast. 70s though and 80s most of the week for the inland valleys with the warmest day looking like Thursday and then cooling off a little Friday. And by the weekend, even the valleys are back to the upper 60s to middle 70s and then a little fluctuation there next week. But overall, pretty typical what you'd expect as we head towards late spring yeah. and into summer. Yeah. Uh, the marine layer and all that good stuff and uh, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's the we central do. coast. You know, yeah. maybe a little Mother Nature will throw us a little curveball. Maybe we'll get some more rain, but 